back again, as always, Zach Selesky, Kyle Fonts, and we are Americans in Don't Germany. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, gonna be kind of part of a series. This is interesting. This that, is a good one. That, this, this isn't just how's Germany, what's this like hey, in Germany, funny? what do you like, what do you miss? This is actually a good one. This is how we got here. It's this is uh yeah. this is gonna be kind of a part of a series where uh, we talk about not how we how just we ended up in Germany, but also our experiences in the countries that we are actually previously played in as well. So, but for right now, this is how we ended up in Germany. I want I want to just say American football players, um, and also, but it's really kind of for all all the European players and and coaches and everything and. And trust me, a lot of the questions that I get on on these sites, I get every single day. I get asked all the time. So you guys actually will get a nice, actually really awesome, different perspective between Kyle, obviously him being a quarterback and also a current player, my, such myself as a coach, who never had a chance to play over here, but over here as a coach. So you get two different perspectives, but there are two current websites uh, to send guys overseas. Is it just those two? As far as I know. <laughs> If you know of any other websites, <laughs> put, it okay. down comment section. put it down in the comment section for football recruiting over into Europe. Yeah. Uh, number one is obviously this is a go to for every single player. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of teams still use it. Uh, that, is, that is Euro Players. Players has been Euro Players. Euro dot com. Players. Yeah, dot com. It's uh, honestly that I don't know how long it's been around, but it's been around, it's been around a long time. Since it's just, um, it, it you know connects you with coaches in Europe. Yeah, that's what it does. I I think it originally started just as a football website, and then it started expanding to other sports. Because I know a couple people I talked to on there basketball to play. Yeah, it's, yeah. You have basketball. You have softball. You have uh, hockey. Baseball. Baseball. I mean, yeah. Lacrosse. It kind of it kind of fully expanded more Rugby. and more and more. Water polo. I think I've seen on there. Yeah. It's it even handball. But and it's for inter I would say international football, but it has you know. There are teams on there from everything from, you know, regional leagues in in Europe to NFL teams that are signed up on there um, looking for players that are international to get guys to try out and stuff. It's not just strictly uh, your just European teams. I've seen CFL scouts. Yeah, uh, you'll see something in between. Some mm -hmm. sports agents that'll colleges even look around. Yeah, yeah. Division three schools beyond there. Uh, mm -hmm. High schools, like private schools, who are trying to get European players over to the schools and no I take this back before I even came to Germany I'm not kidding when I say this because I looked this up um, there was a talent recruiter from the WWE because they, they're trying to recruit like ex-football players and then turn them into wrestlers <laughs> I swear <laughs> to God yeah, yeah. it was it was the weirdest thing my eyes perked up like oh, I'm coming out of retirement <laughs> I'll be a wrestler <laughs> I'll be a wrestler but that's just kind of the thing that you see on there it's just a hodgepodge of yeah there's there's some, there's some other things but if it's legit yeah okay is what we're saying is at the end of the day um those teams on there are real um you do have to watch for teams that there's no history on obviously do yeah. your research on every every team you know if you're in an established league you know germany italy uh, austria you know, switzerland i mean there, there's a, there's yeah. so many um france um, the UK has a small one, um, Spain, you know, they all have their own established leagues. What I would recommend to do is to um, is to pay the monthly fee, I would say the three months at least, three to six months at least, um, and that way you get unlimited access to messaging, um, and just go in there and, and message as many coaches as you want, you know, put in your skills, your talents, you know, your intangibles, um, and then a direct link to your, your highlight tape. Um, but that's the biggest thing about getting over here is is you got to have film um, if you're a player. The, the big thing is whenever you sign up, to kind of add on what Kyle said, but whenever you sign up, uh, it's obviously a free account. Uh, I think you get like two pictures you can post on there. And uh, I think you can also put your uh, link. One, uh, to, yeah, one huddle yeah, link. Huddle link on, on there. Or YouTube link. And then it's going to ask you a couple questions like, you know, you know, what are your demands as a player, all that stuff. And then you can type out your bio. But I think your daily viewing amount, if I'm right, I think it's like maybe eight profiles you can look at. Mm -hmm. But I know it's a little bit steep, but every now and then, whenever I get paid from these teams, I usually, you know, you know. When you're over here, it's all worth it. 
Yeah, when you're over here, yeah. it's all worth it. I mean, but sometimes you have to swallow your pride a little bit and say, and say, you know what? I'll pay the sixty bucks for what uh, six, six months. months. Yeah. And honestly, it's worth it because you can look at, at and also message as many people as you want. No problems at all. That first paycheck typically is going to pay for all that anyway. But and the thing is too is when you do it, try to line it up so that you're also getting time while the season's going on and yeah. the league's over here, because guys get hurt, guys get sent yeah. home, um, and they're looking for players to come over here in the middle of the season and, and take over yeah. and take charge. That is your players is, is number one. Um, that is the the granddaddy of them all. Um, I think over the years, and I've kind of seen them now. I've I've been trying to come overseas since I don't know, twenty. 2011 2016 yeah it's see we've been at this for a while so it's like so i've seen sites come and go but the second one that's kind of been popping up um it's had a huge backing financial backing mm -hmm. but it's still pretty young uh is podi is by by a bunch of ex it was north dakota Football players it was Will. Yeah. I don't know Will. We apologize. <laughs> I think, I think we're all in North, North Dakota. <laughs> I know, but it's a bunch of ex-teammates that, that played in North Dakota, and they were like, you know what? I think they also played overseas, so they're like, hey, we want to create a website to match that. Yeah, to uh, to compete against the Euro players. It's yeah. a little bit, and um, it's, it's podium, very nice. Yeah, it's it's nice to get out. It's actually pretty interactive. Uh, it's not, it's not. I, I like it personally. Um, it's still pretty young. What? It's pricey. It, it is pricey. The gold. I think it's it's really weird because I think both sites add, add almost have like their, their, their perks. Yeah. Yeah, because your players kind of will connect you to teams and then Podium will sometimes really honestly connect you with somebody within the organization or recruiters or whoever. Mm -hmm. But um, Podium's a little bit more expensive. It's fairly new. I think it's probably what, a couple years old. and But it's, it's definitely... Uh, Definitely, definitely it's, worth it's it. A, it's strictly for you uh, players who are kind of maybe struggling a little bit, just trying to get teams. Uh, hell, I get so many messages every single day from guys trying to come overseas and play. Um, but, Mr. Kyle, yeah. how the hell did you end up in Germany? In the Euro players. Um, and I got a recommendation to log into Euro players and, and pay for the subscription. Um, and just go in and just message as many coaches as I can and stir enough as big of a wave as I could um, in terms of just getting my name out there. So I messaged literally everybody. And I had some offers come, but all I had was high school film. Blessed with an opportunity <laughs> to go to France um, that first time and get some film and got some film and you know was able to you know continue my playing career by coming back over here and now in Germany. Um, but. Um, what I did is I just literally messaged as many coaches as I could, and um, then once the coaches replied back, um, they were like, "This is what I can offer." Then I would kind of check up on like the um, the economy and stuff like that of the country to figure out how far that money would get me. Um, because if you're going to tell me that I'm only going to come over there and make a hundred bucks and I don't speak the language and I can't make any money any other way, exactly. I, I can't do anything about it. A hundred bucks doesn't last me the whole month until you give me another hundred bucks. Like that doesn't work. Um, and so you, you know, you check on the economy and stuff like that. Um, but the other side of it too is you think about which leagues you're playing in, you know, in Germany. You go, oh well, it's Germany. You know, yeah. um, it's an opportunity. You know, there's a couple handful of countries that are like that. Yeah. Um, that, you, that you go, okay, those are good opportunities. So then you hear back from who you have, and you got to keep your eyes open. You know, if you're a player, because you're competing for, you know, two spots. You know, some teams aren't even looking for your position. You know, yeah. so you're competing for a very limited number of spots for how many players there are. Yeah. So, um, and you have to be patient too, because. You know, these guys have jobs too. It's not they're not 100% just football, you know, over here. So, um, you know, they have jobs, and then they get on Euro players, and then you know, um, they message you back or message a couple of people, and then you know, yeah. leave it alone because they're normal people. You know, you just have to be patient. I would say is the biggest thing. The message: if you don't hear anything back from a couple of teams that you want to hear back from, I would say follow up just to see if they just didn't get to it because they were bombarded by messages, which happens all the time. Um, yes. And so just follow up with those you know, teams. I would say follow up with 25 to 30, 25 to 35 percent of the teams that you message. Process, and then next thing you know, you'll be over here and you'll play your season and um, then you'll be headed home.
Wow. Yeah. That was fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How I ended up in the Germany, and now this is a little bit different. Um, if there's anything I've learned early on is that a coach's life is very different than the player's life. Completely different, trust me. That's probably one of the hardest things that yeah. I've had to learn, not just from coaching high school and the various different levels. A coach that just understanding, hey, there's not just a separation, but a complete mental break from the two sides. Uh, that's one thing a lot of ex-football players or guys who played at a very high level struggle with for many, many years. But um, it was nice because, at least for me, I think this is my fifth team of coach in four years or five years now. Uh, it's and you know, me being only 29 and playing at that level I did. It's it's very it's very it's not not common, to say the least. So for any aspiring coach who is looking to play overseas, obviously make your players a podium, or in my case, just do both. I mean, you never Time know. Both. Yeah, just yeah. See, you never know who's going to look at it. The thing is, is whenever you guys do sign up, obviously you always want to, at least for me, the first thing I always put on my bio, this is very important, especially for any coach, uh, you always want to put down, all right, your, your, the very, very bottom, you know, your educational stats, like, you know, if you've got a degree, anything of that, um, right above that, you always want to put your, the teams that you ever played for uh, as, a, as a player. Uh, that, that means from high school, college, or even professional. And then from there, you start going in chronological order, um, your experiences as a coach, and so on, and obviously your accolades and what you've done uh, as a coach. But the thing is that's so important, at least for me, um, how I ended up over here, just like Kyle said, your name is basically everything. I mean, it's, if you have one good season with one team and you completely turn them around or whatever the case may be, if you end up becoming successful, that's going to stick with you. And the next year, you know, if you're a winner, uh, I started I out, a winner. I, uh, <laughs> I, my journey is a little bit different. Uh, I was coaching in high school for it was a two years in 2016 and 17 and i was trying to come overseas i think the first time i almost went to uh, the czech republic and then that fell through and then the following year i ended up signing with the polish team i was with last year and you know we did some good things there and that sparked uh peaked the interest of the with paderborn and they're like hey you know, we like what you did. You know, we're a third league. Help, you know, help turn us around. Came over. Uh, we didn't. We've done some good things this year, and that's just. That's honestly, it's how it goes. It's not that's just the, the states. League. You just keep going. Uh, it's, it's honestly, it's just. It's really weird because, um, at least for me, my my focus has always been to get to Germany. Uh, I think that was one of my goals, and Same. it's just. Yeah, yeah. I mean. You can see it. every player, every coach strives to be at that level just because it's it's very demanding. There's more money, more organization. It's very similar to the U.S. as opposed to other countries. So it's it's just it's a nice environment. Uh, the German football league at the third level is you know very comparable it's, comparable to a lot of other. I would countries. say it's a lot better than most other countries third level. Yeah, yeah. Mo very very good. The only one that can compete with with Germany is Japan. My opinion. Yeah. Japan, freaking crazy. Nuts. I, haven't, I don't even know how to get to Japan. It's a very limited club, I'll tell you what. Yeah. They only bring over maybe a couple of Americans, that's it. Maybe one coach, if you're over there. American coach. I would love to go to Japan, so. You get like tens of thousands of people there. That, I mean, that's kind of how our story ended up. That's how we ended up in Germany. Uh, there's different ways you can do it. I mean, if you ask anybody, uh, any players, it, it's the thing that I noticed between coaches and players. Players are kind of over here, not just to win games and, and play, but also have, to, oh, honestly, I would say to have an experience as well. So for them, they're not really worried about going from, you know, say Germany to Italy to Sweden to you know, Switzerland. They they just they want to have that experience uh, with their teammates and everything, as opposed to coaches. Coaches are, are truly one of those one of those guys where you just kind of want to work your way up from whatever level you start at and kind of work your way up to big to bigger and better teams if you can. Mm -hmm. That is our experiences of how we end up. Actually, that's how we ended up in Germany from experience of a player. Yeah, and coach.
and if you guys have any questions um, about how we did it um, or yeah. w if you're not hearing back from people or yeah. um, you know what the deal is um, message us yeah. message one of us we you got our and you know social medias and yeah. stuff so social media even the comment section if you guys have questions because I only have limited numbers of yeah. messages I can read on your post. <laughs> yeah, dude, do it on Instagram. Don't, or, or don't be that guy where I have to click on it. It'd be like, like oh, hey, I saw use your videos one. on Euro players. They're like, dude, why? <laughs> just I message just us on yeah. Instagram or anything else. Yeah. <laughs> I'll social at the bottom. Yeah. Not in the video, but in the bottom. Maybe, maybe put in the. <laughs> I don't know. Conflicted.